What is good guys, we have it get this money versus Z9. Z9 is gonna switch into either Heatran or Scissor here turn 1. Uh, get this money, just go for serve, and I think that's potentially specs, Laddie, that is a lot. So Z9 can either go for Roost, U-turn, or Pursuit here. Get this money, obviously doesn't want to stay in. And he does lose his Laddie turn 1. Pursuit makes a lot of sense because it helps him Pursuit Laddie for his Keldeo. It also helps with the Mega Metagross matchup. Now get this money, is most likely gonna go to his heat turn here and get this rocks up, and then Z9 can just go into his Keldeo. Uh, let's talk about the teams real quick. I assume that's either a Scarf Landris or Scarf Hydreigon get this money side. I think Scarf... Lando and Specs Hydra makes sense as he does go Tran and yeah, Xenon should just go Keldeo here. The Keldeo is most likely Specs on Xenon's side and the Ladi could be Scarf. The Sunders is either Leftovers or Life Orb. And then I assume he has Rocks on Tran and uh, Calm and Clef. And yeah, the Metagross on, on Get This Money side could be like Meteor Mash, Hammer Arm slash Earthquake and then like probably Bolt Beam Coverage, T Punch, Ice Punch. Obviously, he, he wants to switch out here. Scissor is still really nice um, to check the Metagross later in the game. It could also... Uh, what would the last move be on Scissor? It's Pursuit, Roost, Bullet Punch. I don't know about the last move. But yeah, Kelly comes out here. Uh, get this money. You can go hard into Alamomola. Okay, he does have Protect to Scout, but Kelly locks itself into. We do see it's Focus Blast. So now he's going to have to go into Landris or Alamomola. But like Landris, if it's offensive, it's going to take like around half from this. So it's not a good switch in. We do see this over half, so that's probably uh, Scarf Lando. Uh, so get this money, he's gonna U-turn out here. And Xenon can just stay in and click Focus Blast again as long as he connects. Uh, get this money, he's in a really bad position. This is gonna do like 60, 70, 60, and then oof. So yeah, get this money, he can go for Protect here. This is the fourth Focus Blast wasted now, so it's four more. Um, yeah, Xenon is just gonna Focus Blast again, and as long as he hits, he does get a kill here. Uh, get this money, he has to hope for a dodge. And like either stay in and go for wish hoping for dodge or going hard Lando hoping for dodge He doesn't really have a play as he says can you miss one please after Laddie get removed he just didn't have a play um, Versus Specs Keldeo, but like I think in Auras you should be prepped better for Keldeo uh, because like In this case it was Pursuit Scissor which is not that common but Pursuit Tar um, is also a thing in Auras So like Keldeo is like paired with Titar quite often I think um, so yeah, he just has to hope for the dodge here, obviously. And Xenon has four more Focus Blasts. This Kelly seems to be well trained. Landris comes out, let's see if he can dodge one. He's able to dodge one, so... <laughs> the thing is, Xenon can just stay in and click Focus Blast again, because uh, Kelly is outside of Earthquake range. And if get this money, he turns into back into Alamomola, that will obviously die to uh, Focus Blast, as... I think the Aloe is not out of range, even with the Generator health that it got back. So he just just stay in and click Focus Blast again. I think this is a six Focus Blast. Actually, Alan might be able to live one. Okay, he gets a high roll there. Wow. So Lana comes back out now. I think uh, he might be in Earthquake range now. So yeah, he does switch out in the cleft. I was gonna say maybe Thunderous was a good play there because um, get this money was most likely gonna Earthquake there. That crit sucks. Um, so Xenian doesn't want to stay in here. I assume he's either gonna go Lari to get the defog off, or he's gonna go Thunderous to put some offensive pressure on get this money. Uh, get this money exactly should double out here. Uh, goes on the heat turn that covers the Lari, so nice play on him. So this could be a uh, toxic trend because it had protect and rocks and then like last move magma storm or lava plume. Hmm. Yeah, Xenon could defog here or he could go back into Kelio. Um, yeah, if, if it's magma trying to defog, then he's trapped, so I'm not sure if he wants to do that. It seems it seems like Hard Kelio is like better overall, but yeah, he does defog. Get his money goes into Scarf Lando. I guess that covers the Kelio. Um, that covers the Kelio coming out because he cannot let that come in. Um, so that that, that does make sense actually defogging there because uh, get his money wasn't gonna stay and he was gonna go Landers because he cannot let the Kelio come in for free. If he lets the <coughs> Kelio come in on Tren, Kelio gets a kill again. So he does U-turn and Dina makes a good play knowing that get this money is not gonna earthquake on a Ladi. Uh, now he can go into his um, Metagross here, or goes in his own heat run. So I assume get this money is gonna get the rocks back up, and if Xenon has off power, he can go for that, or Xenon can also just go Kelly. Yeah, he does just go Kelly, which makes a lot of sense. And now Xenon can just click uh, Secret Sword here, I think, because he only has two Focus Bass left, so he doesn't want to like uh, run out of Focus Bass PP, and he doesn't want to risk missing. And now get this money he has to go into Landris or Metagross. Landris can probably take one because it's at 44 if I recall correctly and Metagross uh, can also take one. Metagross would take a lot though because it's not Megat yet and before it's Megat it does not have the best fist death. So yeah, I assume 
Lando is to play here and then get this money is pretty much forced to U-turn uh, the next turn because if he earthquakes and Xenan goes and the uh, thunders that could be really bad for get this money <laughs> I mean I think his only play is Landris I don't think he wants to let the Metagross take a huge hit so yeah Landris comes out this might be a roll he's able to lift that on 4% and yeah Xenan can go into thunders here like I said um, actually, he might have to fear Stone Edge. He obviously doesn't want to go Scissor. I think Vinyan definitely wants to defog before he wants to bring the Scissor in later in the game. Uh, so he can check the Metagross better. Uh, Xenon is obviously not going to stay. And I think Earthquake might kill. So he has to Thunder with predicting like Earthquake or U-Turn. And yeah, I'm surprised this money went for Earthquake. I thought either U-Turn or Stone Edge was the play there. And now Xenon can... Um, I guess his money is going to go Heatran here most likely. Or Hydreigon. One of the two. Prob probably Heatran. We do see the left over Stunder, so it could be. Oh, yeah, it's a Nasty Plot variant. Cool. So it's T Bolt, Nasty Plot, HP Ice, and then either T Wave or Focus Blast or Incinerate, something like that. So let's see. If he has T Bolt, this is gonna do like 60 70%, is my guess. If it has Focus Blast, it's just gonna kill the Heatran. Now, obviously, there's no point in protecting here, just in case this is a Sub Thundy or in case it Nasty Plots again. So yeah, it just has to go for like Toxic or Lava Plume, and yeah, it is Focus Blast, it just hits and the Heatron just dies. So it's looking like this game is pretty much not winnable for get this money. Uh, Landris comes out and Xenon can um, maybe go into Caldeo here because it covers the Stone Edge and it covers the U-Turn. He could also go into Clefable if he doesn't want to risk the Caldeo because the Caldeo pretty much gets a kill whenever it comes in on a High Dragon. He does go Clefable, which does make sense, covers the U-turn, and yeah, it doesn't want to risk hard kill you. Now Metagross comes out, Xenian can probably sack the Clefable, and then go into Scissor afterwards. Let's see if he gets a Mash Race. If he gets a Mash Race, this uh, Metagross could put in work. Okay, so yeah, Scissor comes out, so I can roost here. I don't think this Metagross is going to have HP fire, so get this money, either has to fish for like, uh, either a crit, or like a freeze, or like an attack race. Uh, Xenian is obviously going to roost here. Oh yeah, this could all, there's also a chance that the Scizor still has Defog. Like, double Defog with Scizor and Ladi would make some sense. I don't think it is that, but there could be a slight chance it is that. Um, yeah, get, get this money could either, like I said, fish, fish for the Hex here, or it could go into High Dragon, because High Dragon uh, most likely would threaten out the Scizor because it has Fire Blast. And then, uh, the thing is, if that when High Dragon comes out and goes for Fire Blast or Dark Pulse, that kind of invites the Kaleo back in and gets money, doesn't have much for the Kaleo. Xenian also has more sags. Like, Xenian is just in a way better position. But yeah, if Metagross does its thing here and gets a Meteor Mash Race or like a Freeze or Crit, that could definitely be bad for Xenian. The game is not over yet for sure. Because if Metagross gets rid of the Scissor, it has Hammer Arm. Like, see, like, if that Crit there and Scissor would have been gone, Metagross could have potentially soloed Xenian's team. Um, so yeah, Xenian should just roost again. He could also pursue it, but I don't think it's worth it. I think having Scizor at full is nice. So he should just roost again, right? He pursues, okay. And yeah, that is 33. Now, with uh, Xenian is obviously forced to roost here. Yeah, like I said, get his money, can fish for the Hex. He's kind of forced to fish for the Hex at this point. He doesn't really have another win condition. So Xenian is going for roost here. As he's... Uh, Oh yeah, I was gonna say, why is the scissor faster? Hammer arm obviously lowered the speed from the Metagross. That's why the scissor is faster. Speed was lowered twice. So a dragon comes out here expecting a roost or the pursuit. Uh, the roost, most likely. Now the scissor is threatened out. Um, the thing is, get this money kinda has to double into his um, Lando slash Metagross because he cannot let the Kaldu come in. If the Kaldu comes in here, I assume this Hydreigon is not Scarfed. The Lando was already Scarfed. So if the Kaldu comes in here, it can take a Fire Blast or a Dark Pulse and then it just gets a kill. Oh, not a kill, but a lot of damage on Metagross. Actually, Metagross might be in range of Specs Secret Sword. But yeah, but get this money does not want the Kelly to come out, so I think he has to double here. And Xenon can just hard Kelly if he wants to. Yeah, because obviously he needs to sit healthy for the Metagross. So there's the Kelly. Let's see if he just Dark Pulse or if he doubles. He does U turn. Okay, nice. So he doesn't let the, the Kelly in for free. That makes sense. Now he can go uh, Landris and U-turn again, or Metagross, and the thing is, yeah, okay, okay, he goes Metagross and he has to fish again for the attack race, pretty much, um, or for, like, hacks in general. So if Scissor comes out here and he goes for T-Punch and he gets a Para, that could help him beat the Scissor 1v1, but he does double her dragon, predicting the Scissor, nice play by get this money. Now, I think he has to U-turn again here, predicting the, the Kaldeo. because he can just, he can, if he Dark Pulses ever or Fire Blasts, then the Kaldeo just gets a kill when it comes out, so I don't think he can afford to let that happen. So Kaldeo is there, let me see the U-turn again. 
I mean, to be fair, um, yeah, he does Dark Pulse there, and I think he that does Specs damage, it does so much, yeah. So, a Secret Sword is gonna come out here from Zenane. If he um, wants to predict the Metagross and go for Scald or Pump, because a Metagross has more Fist Death than Spit Death, then he can make that play, but I think Secret Sword is a completely fine play. And I don't even know if the Metagross can take a Spec Secret Sword, it might be able to barely take it. Obviously, get this money. Um, was also trying to like, yeah, he was trying to catch him on his day. Okay, it can take one of this half. Now Zinian is gonna save this because it still gets a kill. Um, now it gets a kill the next time it comes in hand dragon. This time it just gets huge ha damage off. So yeah, he could have uh, predicted the um, Metagross as okay. So he was willing to sack his Kelly there. As uh, I can understand, get this money's play. Get his money doubled back, pretty much expecting Xenian to keep the Keldeo because the Keldeo gets a kill the next time it comes in Hydreigon. So he predicted him to keep the Keldeo. He doubled back into Hydra, expecting the the Scizor, which makes sense, but it didn't matter what Xenian did. Like, I completely understand what Get his money was trying to do, but Xenian was so far ahead. He did not have to keep the Keldeo. I mean, I would personally would have kept the Keldeo. He didn't have to, but I would have kept it. So now Bullet Punch just cleans up the game here. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. The main, um played this pretty well. I think he also had better matchup though. Get this money didn't have much for the Kelio, and it was able to hit a lot of specs of Focus Blast. I'll be back later with more games. Have a fantastic day, and peace out.